Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to switch between the Windows 7, Windows 10, and Windows 11 versions of Task Manager on a Windows 11 computer. So normally if you run Task Manager on Windows 11, you're used to this new version here, with the new interface. So to switch between all three, or you could just switch between a couple of them, if you just want the Windows 7 and 11, or just the Windows 10 and 11, that type of thing, you could install them as needed. So once you download the task manager of programs for each one. It's just an executable. Here's the one for Windows 10. Here's the one for Windows 7. I'll put the uh, links in the description for both of those so you can download them. So you just download them and install them, and then you'll have icons for them. The one for Windows 7 also has a classic system configuration, which is the MS config. So if you open that, you can see it's similar, but when you go to startup, you have your apps here instead of having to go to task manager. But the only downside is this will only allow you to change the startup for Windows programs, not for actual Windows apps, like you can do in the newer version of System Configuration, or from Task Manager, actually. All right, so once you have these installed, so you can see here we have the classic Task Manager, the Windows 7 style. If I remember that. Then here's the uh, Windows 10 style which is what Windows 11 used to have at the beginning. And then if you right click on the taskbar, pick Task Manager, you have Windows 11. But depending on how you install it in the order, uh, you might have your Windows 11 Task Manager be replaced by one of the other versions. So when you right click and choose Task Manager, it's gonna open one of the other ones by default. So if you run into that situation, or if you wanna switch in between them as your default, there's some registry files you could run to do so. And I'll put a link in the description for these as well. So if we were to click on, let's say, Windows 7 Task Manager Reg. Okay, that's added to the registry. Now if we do Task Manager, it's going to open up the Windows 7 by default. Now if we do the same thing for Windows 10. Right click, Task Manager. Now we have the Windows 10 style. Like that. And if we do default, and we right click, now we have the Windows 11 style. So the options you have are to have your icons for each one, and then run them as needed, or you could switch in between your default by using these registry files, you know, back and forth each time. It's not going to hurt anything to just run the one you want at a particular time because it just replaces the information in the other one. And then, of course, just keep in mind, if you use the classic system configuration, that your startup tab's not going to have apps, just going to be programs. Okay, so like I said, I will put links for each uh, task manager, the Windows 7 version, which I think they call Windows 8 and 10. Then there's a Windows 10 version. Then you could just install both of those programs. You should have some icons for them. And if you don't have icons, if you do a search, like, let's do a... Task Manager. Here's Classic Task Manager. If you right click on it, open File Location, it'll take you to the shortcut, then you could drag that to your desktop. And the same for the other one, for the Windows 10 and for the uh, Classic System Configuration, if you don't, if it doesn't make some icons for you. Because it's not going to put them in your program, so if you go to All Apps here, you're not going to find those icons in here anywhere. So if it doesn't make the shortcut, you'll have to do it this manual way to get the uh, shortcut. And here's the Windows 10 one right there. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So just install them, switch in between them as the default by using one of these registry items, or you could just have the Windows 11 be your default and then just run these uh, from the icons as needed. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.